The next individual that we are going to focus on is Livingston, who again in 2001 gave us what he thought formal, informal, and non-formal learning of adults should be. Remember, education for all was not common years ago. So even in developed countries, there are individuals that are not educated and need to be educated as adults. According to Livingston, formal education occurs when a teacher has the authority to determine that people designated as requiring knowledge effectively learn a curriculum taken from a pre-established body of knowledge. Now, there are key, three key things that we need to look at here. One is the teacher has the authority. The teacher has the power. The teacher has the control. So everything, according to Livingston, is teacher-centered, is teacher-dominated, is teacher-dependent, and as we see education evolving and changing in the 21st century, this may not necessarily be true today. But in 2001, this is how Livingston felt, that the teacher is the person in authority and the students are who? Who are designated. The parents have sent them to the school and the school decides you are in kindergarten, you are in class one, you need to be in class four and then gives them the learning opportunities and helps them learn. So the students are designated to a particular grade, a particular class and a particular teacher and all that makes a difference. The class, the grade is not going to make the difference. The teacher is going to make the difference. So, you have the person in authority, you have the designated students, what's going to happen? What is the teacher supposed to do? The teacher is supposed to take the curriculum from some pre-established body of knowledge. And the curriculum writers have put the curriculum together, the textbook authors have translated that curriculum into pieces of knowledge that the teacher then is expected to teach. So the teacher has students that are not there by choice. The teacher has curriculum and content that he or she has not chosen to teach. And so what is the teacher supposed to do? You have two extraneous pieces, the students and the content to teach the curriculum. And this one individual in authority who is responsible for doing the right things in the classroom at the right times. Whether in the form of age-graded and bureaucratic modern school systems or elders initiating youths into traditional bodies of knowledge. So this can happen in two ways. If we see our school, our schools were set up based on the industry model. We think students come into us as raw products, raw materials, and somehow we have to change them and churn them out in three years, four years, five years, ten years, out the other end, and the product should look really good. That's a bureaucratic modern school system. Bureaucratic because it's structured. First hour this, second hour this, third hour this, this teacher will teach that, this teacher will teach something else, and so on. This is when there'll be recess, this is when we will have assembly, this is the time for the school, and all that is a very bureaucratic system. Somebody outside has decided all these things, and the people inside need to follow all these things that have been set up by people from outside. There could also be, and we see this in a lot of families, where older siblings teach their younger siblings. So I may have two younger brothers or sisters or one brother and sister. I know the stuff. I teach them in the evening. This is transferring when the youth are transferring bodies of knowledge to somebody else. So the school is there, plus a lot of this could happen at home. It can only happen at home if parents or older siblings are educated. Otherwise, learning stops when the school ends for most students, and that should not happen. Non-formal or further education occurs when learners opt to acquire further knowledge or skill by studying vo voluntarily with a teacher who assists the self-determined interest. 
What this means now, you've finished your bachelor's degree or you've done your intermediate and you want to do some additional training. You realize you need computer skills or you need communication skills or you need to learn interpersonal skills or leadership skills. You find somebody who's going to help you learn those different skills. So that is non-formal. It is not structured. It is dependent on who you find, if you're able to find somebody. And this teacher you find assists you, helps you only learn those skills. Now, if there are skills, you need to practice the skills. You cannot learn skills by reading about skills and writing about skills. Skills are learned by practicing the skills. This individual who you've gone to and is willing to help you could use an organized curriculum, as in the case in many adult education courses and workshops. If you missed out getting an education as a child and you go to adult literacy centers or adult education centers and you enroll there, you have to then depend on what that institution is willing to teach you in terms of trying to make you into a literate adult. This differs from institution to institution. Again, some core things may be there, but there will be lots of different things that you will need to learn in order to actually become an educated, literate adult. And how are you going to proceed, how are you going to move ahead, depends on how effectively you use these different strategies.